Did you think that after DeepSeek, we wouldn't see any more surprises from Chinese developers? No way. One more chatbot has already started to take the internet by storm. As always, it's a pretty smart AI tool, ready to work with text, solve complex problems, and write code. Today, we'll find out just how good it really is. Hi, I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we'll ask the bot our usual riddles and see how well it handles them. Then, we'll put it to the test with academic writing by asking it to write a research paper. We'll also check its math and programming skills. It's going to be really interesting. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So, let's dive in and get acquainted with this new AI. Exploring Kimi AI Kimi AI is a relatively new LLM from Chinese developers that has generated some buzz, though it's not as hyped as its domestic competitors. It's supposedly created by the same team behind DeepSeek or Quan 2.5 but it has its own unique interface. However, the interface resembles those of other AI language models. In the side menu, you'll find Home and Start new chat buttons, Chat History, and User Settings. The latter includes options to switch between Light, Dark, and System modes, as well as a language setting with only two available languages, English and Chinese. You'll also find user feedback and logout options. Additionally, you can download the Kimi AI Assistant for your tablet or get the desktop version or browser extension. The chat itself offers several settings as well. Here you can choose the basic model for most tasks or the K1.5 Lung Syncing mode for more complex visual and text-based reasoning. We'll use this mode only occasionally to avoid overwhelming Kimi AI and running into the same issues we had with DeepSeek a few videos ago. You can also set common phrases or upload files with a limit of 50 files or 100 megabytes in total. Supported formats include PDF, DOC, XLSX, PPT, TXT, and some visual file types. Now let's test Kimi AI by asking a question you definitely remember if you've watched my other reviews. Who are you? And what can you do? Kimi responds clearly and concisely, introducing itself as our AI assistant. It's ready to help with anything we need. Chatting, answering questions, assisting with tasks, and so on. Next, let's ask another one of our go-to questions. Why is the sky blue? Kimi AI quickly generates a response, explaining that it's a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering, along with a brief explanation. The answer is straightforward and clear. I love it. Now, let's ask Kimi AI some of our favorite riddles. To do this, I'll activate the K1.5 Lung Syncing mode and see how it handles the thinking process. I'll type in a riddle here and let's see what happens. Oh wow, Kimi processed it surprisingly fast. I barely had time to read through the reasoning. If you remember how long it took with DeepSeek, this is definitely quicker. The answer it gave was firework, but unfortunately that's wrong. The correct answer was volcano. So despite the reasoning mode being on, it didn't get it right. Let's move on to the next question to test its ability to solve logic puzzles. I'll give the Lung Syncing mode another chance and keep it on. So, how does it approach the problem? The correct answer here should be Snow. And yes, this time Kimi got it right. 
it generated the response quickly. And the explanation was short yet clear. I have to say, I'm impressed. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Now let's try asking Kimi AI a math riddle. For example, here's one. 81 times 9 equals 801. What do you need to make this equation true? I leave the K1.5 loom sinking mode on for the last time. Let's see how it handles this. The explanation is quite thorough, but unfortunately it's incorrect. We just need to flip the equation and we'll get 6 times 18 equals 108. So it's simply a matter of turning the written expression upside down. Still, I want to give Kimi AI another chance to redeem itself and solve the riddle again. This time, let's try it without the K1.5 loom thinking mode and in a new chat. But no, it still gives the wrong answer. So, in this case, it failed. However, reviews mention that Kimi AI is quite good at research and writing articles. Let's ask it to write a complete research paper on a specific topic. I won't use the common phrase feature, but I'll leave the online mode enabled. Let's see how it handles the task. Well, Kimi AI is finding sources, more than any other chatbot analyzed in previous tutorials. I keep scrolling and scrolling, and my mouse is about to break from all the scrolling. It's amazing how many sources it has processed. In total, there are 96 web pages. The AI includes properly formatted quotes, organizes the structure well, explains the methodology, and even uses mathematical formulas in latex format. Impressive! It also adds references. Although the number of references seems significantly smaller than the number of sources I scrolled through. I believe we can adjust this through the common phrase feature to get more detailed references. So let's get into it. The random one option probably won't be of any use this time. So let's just ask it to process all the topics. I'll enter the same prompt. And we can see that Kimia is still using the same sources. However, now it's providing more detailed explanations, just as we requested in the common phrase. The second paper is much more extensive. The AI refers to figures, provides experimental results in table format, and more. That's really cool. I think I found a way to confuse Kimi AI. I asked it to write an angry email to my wife, saying I'm very upset and going to a nightclub to party shamelessly. I also asked it to justify my actions in the email. Let's see how Kimi AI handles this. Oh, wow. Kimi AI really showed its moral concern. It didn't go off the rails with suggestions like go drink yourself silly 
as for example Gemini might do. Instead, it simply said, I can't assist with this request. You know what? I respect that. There's been a lot of buzz about Kimi AI's coding capabilities, so I asked it to write a Go program that acts as a simple HTTP server handling two specific routes. Let's see what it comes up with. Kimi AI immediately starts generating the code in Go, just like I requested. The program looks clean and straightforward. And I'm 100% confident it will run correctly. Plus, Kimi AI does a great job explaining each function and providing clear instructions on how to launch the program. I think that's pretty cool. Finally, I've decided to challenge Kimi AI with a more complex task, creating a 2D Tetris game in JavaScript that I can play in a web browser. Yep, JavaScript is definitely the go-to language for a browser-based Tetris game. Obviously, Kimi AI mentions that it's necessary to generate the HTML code, which makes sense along with some basic CSS for styling. The generation process takes noticeably longer compared to the previous tasks. But I am patient and confident it will do a great job. As we can see, the JavaScript code came with a clear explanation and step-by-step -step instructions on how to run it. Unfortunately, Kimi AI doesn't have a built-in execution environment. So I'll use an external service like CodePen.io. However, when I run the code, the system responds very slowly. The blocks are behaving oddly. They just disappear when they reach the bottom. I also can't rotate them properly. Another issue is an error in the HTML file. It might be a doc type issue. I need to figure it out. Why do the blocks disappear and not respond to the buttons? Maybe you guys know the reason? Kimi AI definitely failed this test. However, I still see huge potential in this AI assistant. Especially with its upcoming plugins and apps. It's an interesting tool to keep an eye on. Final thoughts. Alright guys, let me share some final thoughts. Today Kimi AI impressed me several times. For example, with the speed at which it processed certain tasks, it can easily understand simple riddles and craft solid academic papers. However, there's still room for improvement, particularly in reasoning tasks and coding. I believe this is just the beginning, and Kimi AI will improve significantly. Don't you think? What's your take on its future? If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.